So the last episode ended up being kind of weird for us and weird for the team. Packs were half off, so between spending stub bank stubs and the end of the game stubs, 45 show packs were open along with two of the gold player packs. So in 47 packs, not a single player was pulled to upgrade the team. And I think this being the 20th episode, it might be, if I'm unless I'm forgetting something, it might be the first episode that we don't have a single upgrade to the team. Like nothing on the bench, nobody in the bullpen, nothing. And then by the end of it, because 25 of those 45 packs were opened from end of the game stubs, I sold everything from those 25 and that just added right back to the stub bank 11,723 stubs. So in the end, we pretty much made back most of the stubs we spent from the stub bank. So like in the end, besides getting a tally in the win column, last episode was like nothing happened. Like it might as well have not existed. But it did exist and we did get the win. And that moves our pack attack record to 21 and 1. We're also on a nice little 8 game win streak right now. But we are on a 661 rating in the season. Now just with the way I schedule pack attack videos, there's only going to be this game and the next one unless we have to play two for an episode but it'll only be two more episodes within this ranked season so we probably have to win both games to make it over 700 and start out at what would it be 550 in the next season but yeah just with the way i schedule these we only play two games a week but that's going to be changing very soon because once the white Sox march to october is finished and it's really close we're in the world series i just need to clutch up and win one more game but once that's over we're kind of swapping schedules so pack attack will be three games a week and then or three episodes a week and then march to october will move down to two episodes a week so hopefully at that point in starting the next season with more games we might actually be able to start at least thinking about making a push with this team into championship series and who knows maybe even further and one last thing before we hop into the game last episode as i'm sitting down to record this one has six likes on it so that automatically right off the bat adds 600 stubs to our stub count at the end of this game so if you end up enjoying this video be sure to hit the like button because each like is good for 100 stubs towards the next episode and also if you're not already feel free to hit that subscribe button we got plenty more pack attack coming out and i'm really close to 500 subscribers so anything helps at this point we're getting real close a max rating window of 728 there's definitely a chance we're getting up to higher ratings now we might have to start playing on hall of fame kershaw is getting the start he's got full energy and what do we got to go up against today what's this guy's team looking like we haven't faced two great teams recently but it's our second edward game in a row last one did not go well He's played a lot. He doesn't have an insane record though, but it's pretty much going to come down to whether or not this game's on Hall of Fame, especially with facing Edward. Kershaw though, as long as he makes it like five or so innings, he should be getting to parallel two at the end of this one. There we go. Two grounders to start things off. He is kind of timing everything up though. I guess he's early on that one, but... Oh, he's going to get that one to drop in. He was early again. That one's got to get run down, though. Somebody, right? Story. There you go. Nothing in the first. That's a good start. This is what it comes down to, though. What do we got? It's looking fine. This looks like last game. We're probably on an all-star again, then, which is good. We're not having another game like last time. I'm getting things going. There we go. Hey, I know that's not a hit, and I know it's not the best PCI, but I had good timing on the sinker. No, it's did that inside slider. It's been giving me so much trouble lately. I cannot be swinging at that that far in. Oh, no, please. I'm all over that. If he could throw that one 102, that's a home run. Oh, and then I'm under that one. Timing is fine, though, man. Threw two at bats. Both outs are on good timing swings. I just gotta gotta figure out the PCI. And I, I worry that we might have to put up some offense today. I feel like Kershaw has not been our best pitcher. There we go. As long as he keeps hitting it at my guys, though, that's fine. 
That's good. That's a good way to deal with him. Are we looking at a three pitch inning? Oh man. I wasn't just laying one in there for him to swing at and try and get a three pitch inning. That was still a decent pitch. See, that's where Jordan kind of bites us because I feel like a good fielding left fielder. Like if we were starting our Tyler O'Neill from the bench. Oh no, that's another one. That run, that might be completely, well it is. It's definitely Jordan's fault. That, that might be the first time Jordan's fielding has like really bit me. That's unfortunate. But hey, he's up right away here, so maybe he can make up for it. Oh no, that slider inside, man. I don't know what it is lately. Okay, what are we doing here, man? I, I kind of just want to play, you know? This this really... 24 seconds left, man. Dude! <laughs> Oh man, I'm just, I feel like I'm early on the fastball, but I'm late when he throws the sinker. That might be good. Is that leaving? What? A foot and a half outside the pole. Oh my god. Okay, I'll still take that. Man, I thought whoever he has at first was about to snag that. That was a good at bat though. It was like 10 pitches. And he hit Grandal, wow. He had no control that at bat. Ah, look at that swing. Now if he's smart, he walks Bo to get to the pitcher here with two outs. I guess he's not smart. Oh man, I was waiting back on that and everything. I knew that pitch was coming. I was going to try and hit it the other way. I'm fine with that inning though. We got a hit. Almost a home run. We just got to keep him off the board. And really, you could say he shouldn't even have that one run. Two ground outs for Byron. Another grounder to short. I think that's both times Tatis he's grounded out to short now. We have 13 pitches after eight outs. And he has three hits. You know what? I didn't even connect the dots here. Should I just be throwing junk? Could I have been getting away with just throwing junk this whole time? Oh man, I didn't even need to give up that run. We're just doing this. We're just really going to test it here. Yeah, oh, that makes me mad now. We could have probably gotten away with giving up nothing if he's just swinging at everything. Kershaw is batting 500 for us. Oh! Oh! Oh, off the wall. I'm going three. Oh man, this might be a mistake. Oh, what did I do? I threw it away. Oh, I thought that had a big enough bounce and everything that we could have made it there. Kershaw almost went deep. And then we're doing that. And why are we pausing again, guy? Who, are, who Who's being texted right now? Who are we texting? <laughs> Oh boy. No, that was, wow. I feel like Edward's curveball doesn't fool me a whole lot, but that one definitely did. You know, I'm not even gonna fool around with it. We're just gonna bounce in curves, unless he starts taking it. All right, he took it first time. He might just be taking now, cause he thinks I'm just throwing balls. Now we got him all confused. Well, what's this? No, you can't... No. We got three seconds to go here, though, man. Really? He's... <laughs> he risked getting a pause timeout and restarting the game with one second to go just to bring in Jackie over McMahon? I would assume this is the 88. It's the 99? You mean to tell me he's starting... 86 Ryan McMahon over 99 Jackie at second base. This better be an out. Okay. No, no, you can't score on that. What, what even is this at this point? He's got one second on his pause timer. And both of his runs were on fluky hits. And he's, good. he's about to get another one because Eloy got a bad jump. Wait, he messed up. Now we still don't have a chance. Wow, this is uh, this is unfortunate. I I don't get it. I don't get how you could be. 
how you could have such a bad eye, but anything that's even close, you're putting a good swing on. And I'll tell you right now, if he pauses and exhausts that pause timer, I'm taking it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm taking it and we'll play another game. Eloy, there we go. Turning on that sinker for a base hit. Oh, what? I thought it only gives you an extra 30 seconds when an inning's over. Really? Are you serious? Oh man, I gotta turn on that. Oh, it didn't matter! Good thing I didn't turn on it, because I turned on that one. He left the curveball in the zone, Grandal didn't miss it. We get two back. We're good. Is that one gonna drop? We did, we got it to drop, nice. Bo? Please? Oh, that's that's the tie game. See, that's the difference. Whoa. <laughs> Did not realize that was his logo. Okay. Oh, and then we're just... Yeah, you know what? Kershaw's leading off the next inning. I might call it quits with him. I was going to think about taking Kershaw out if Bo got a base hit, but it might be time. He's stealing. We're not going to get him. Grandal's got 59 arm. I probably would have had to slide step on that. Okay, guy, don't don't be patient all of a sudden. I want to strike you out now. Yeah, I see it's time to strike out. No, you you see you just didn't hit that, man. What is with these foul balls? If it was me, I'd be putting it in play weak. It'd be an easy All right. No, throw it to first. Okay. Get it there. I don't know what he's thinking. What? Are you thinking I'm going to get fooled by that? We don't use our bullpen too much, so we're going to this time. And I'm going to go to... I'm going to go to Yelich. Get through. Make this worth it. Oh, pff, he had to bring Jackie in. Get in. Get in. Get in where? Get down is what I meant to say. Oh, I don't think we got it. Oh, that's a good swing though, man. 107 power. We're gonna do a hit and run here. I feel like he's been throwing a lot of first pitch strikes. Oh, of course. At least we're, yeah, all right, at least we're in there. Eloy? Oh, no, I didn't hit it hard enough. Man, that is two pretty solid swings. I know that one was a little inside, but still. At least I'm hitting Edward pretty well. If he leaves him in, I think I'm going to be able to bring it back. Yeah, so we are definitely in uh, somewhat uncharted waters here. This might be the earliest I've gone to the bullpen. This is uh, Gallegos' first appearance. There we go. A good first at bat there in his first appearance. He hasn't really gone for anything like this. Yeah, I don't know. He's just not swinging up. We can fool him all day down in the zone, but above the zone, he's not biting. Oh, that just wasn't a good at bat. Is that going to get through? Does it have... It doesn't. Ah, man, I guess that curve below the zone is getting me chasing now. Gotta lay off of that. That's an automatic ground ball. He doubled up. On the curveballs, Grandal takes it the other way. He is going to get in the second, right? <laughs> Man, he's been good. He's been real good. That's two for two today, also with a hit by pitch. He got one of our only hits in the last one and then hit that other one to the wall. I didn't... I didn't... I didn't need to swing at that. I, I know that's plenty in the zone, but I also wasn't ready for the fastball. We got to do more before getting to two outs. I feel like... Too many innings it happens where I just get the first two outs in order and then I do something. There we go. First time keeping Mauricio off base. Is he going to stick with Edward though? That's the question. It seems like it. Fair enough. I feel like I'm going to get to him though. Oh, we can't strike him out. 0-2 count, we couldn't get the pitcher down swinging. But that's fine, Gallegos with two scoreless innings, that'll be it for him. Good debut. But hey, it's kind of it's kind of getting to crunch time here. I was so waiting for that. Did I even move the PCI? 
Man. All right. Well, we got Schwarber now. Oh, you can hang a curveball to Kyle Schwarber. That was a line drive, and it still made it over that tall fence. Oh, that was so nice. That was so satisfying. Olsen? I actually hit the low and in slider. He should not have left in Edward. I gave him a chance, and now we hit two solo shots to give us the lead. That is huge. Now we just got to hang on. I swear, this guy has gotten like five minutes of pause time by now. Mo, but that's the 88, right? Because the 99 has five pitches. Oh, man, I almost got another one there. Dropped the PCI so slightly on that one. But, man, that is that is huge to take the lead. We got to get through eight and nine, and I've got two diamonds now in the pen to hopefully do that. I'm going to go to Hendricks first. We're going to use him like the setup, man. It's also his first appearance. I also, should I, should I do a defensive replacement here? Man, it would have been real nice if Eloy could have gotten on. Because Jordan would be the one I want to take out, but he's coming up to the plate. I'm just, I'm going to chance it. We're going to hopefully get through this inning, get Jordan in at bat, and then in the ninth we can bring in Tyler O'Neill for fielding. Please, Eloy. Nice defense. Oh my gosh. Maybe he's got too good of an eye right now. We can get him back door. Oh, we did. Good pitch, Liam. Oh, but we got him with the slider. What an inning out of Hendricks. Two strikeouts. Set him down in order. All right, we got one inning left here to try and build on our lead before closing it out. Man, that was a good swing with Jordan. That's not even going to end up at the track. Is it just me or does it feel like Jordan's been cooling off over the last five or so games? I mean, he did have that one homer a couple games ago, but other than that, I can't think of much he's done. All right, well, we got to gotta shut it down here with a one run lead. And I don't know, man, I could be making a mistake if he wasn't really hitting Hendricks, but in the second inning, I feel like Hendricks is easier to see. So we're, we're going to get the new look up there. And man, I really, now I think about it, I hope Chapman doesn't go down to a gold in the roster update. He has not been good. Alright, that's fine. I, I would really love to miss the bat, but I'll take it. Can we get away with throwing back-to-back -back sliders? Oh, we got him. He couldn't hold up. I'm bringing the, the, I'm bringing the, you know what I mean. I don't want him to get a free bunt to get on. You know what? We're going to elevate. Does he chase? He did. We got him above the zone with the outlier. What a game. That got the, that got the blood flowing, man. We put up four on Edward. He only struck me out three times with him. Definitely adjusted the second time around. And how about Schwarber coming off the bench with that perfect homer? That might have been one of the most satisfying things I've done on this game. I don't know if Kershaw pitched enough to make it there. And we're at 689 now. And yeah, we got Kershaw to parallel too. He did pitch enough. And I think, yep, yeah, Eloy. We're getting pretty close with Craig, Story, and Yuli to parallel too, though. All right, we got it all tallied up, but before we get into it, I just realized we stole that base with Biggio when I was trying to do a hit and run. That was the first steal of this entire series. 20, 20 episodes in, that was the first stolen base. And I didn't even think about it, but I don't have any stub reward for a stolen base. So it won't count for this one just because I didn't have it set up and in place. But from now on, we're just going to count a stolen base as 250 stubs because, you know, each total base is 250 so a stolen base is just like an extra base so from here on out a stolen base will be worth 250 subs just not for this one now for the tally starting things off we scored four runs good for 2,000 stubs ended up with 21 total bases for 5,250 we also got hit by a pitch for 250 we got the five hit bonus once almost got to 10 but that's 500 struck out four times so that's a negative 400 allowed three Three runs for 1500 allowed seven hits for 1250 struck him out nine times for 2250 then we got the win for 1500 Eloy got to parallel one for a thousand and then Kershaw rounding it out getting to parallel two for 2000 stubs bringing our total for this game to 17700 
Alright, so here's what I got. Two headliners, two show packs. That cost 18000 so we had to dip into the stub bank for 300 But yeah, after last episode of opening as many show packs as we did, it had me a little deflated. Plus, I feel like we're due for a headliner pull, or at least a diamond from a headliner. Alright, but let's open the two show packs first. What do we got? Number one... Yeah, that's why I didn't get a bunch of them. Second and final show pack, and yeah. Yep. Alright, well now, now these are the big ones. Cross everything you got, guys. Because we, we would love to have that Griffey. It lagged. Does that mean it was putting that Griffey in this pack? Gold collectible. Bronze. Bronze. Silver. Looking good. Alright, the last one. We gotta get something, right? Can't go two episodes in a row without upgrading the team. What do we got? And... Wow, dude. We pulled the bare minimum from all four packs. Well, alright. <laughs> Kind of a kind of a deflating way to end an otherwise exciting episode. But you know what? I think I've said it before and it hasn't really been true until now. We are really at the point with the team where I guess getting upgrades is not going to be a regular thing. Because it's pretty much we got to get a diamond to upgrade. And you know, diamonds are pretty rare. But anyway, that is going to bring this episode of Pack Attack to a close. 20 episodes in the book and man, plenty more to come. So again, make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed to give me 100 stubs towards next episode's packs. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already to help me hit 500. But that's all I got for this one. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.